He was telling me that he knows people that are doctors, big house, nice car, but are in almost a million dollars of debt. So even though they're driving a nice car, when they get off work and they go home to a big house, these folks are not happy. They are in debt more than anybody. You went to school for eight years, big schools, and they make good money. But when you're in debt close to a million dollars, come on now, let's be for real. What, how much of that are you really seeing? You're not You're not gonna be as happy. What's good YouTube, it's your boy B. Gill, back with another banger. Charlie Kirk, best argument for skipping college. College isn't for everybody, so I'm actually interested in what's, what this debate is gonna be. Or really, conversation. I don't know if they're really gonna debate. Let's see. I just was curious about your stance on like college is a scam. Yeah. And I just was curious, uh, you know, why you say that? Let me prove it to you. How many of you have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you shouldn't have to take? Well, there you go. I rest my case. Yeah, no. How many of you guys know at least three people that dropped out that went to this college previously and earlier? Okay. The national graduation rate is 41%. Most people that go to college do not graduate. You guys actually go to a school that has a lot of applicability in the job market outside of some of the majors that are offered, but aeronautical engineering, computer engineering, um, which, you know, now, Eric, go, go work for Elon. Uh, and, but so this, this school is actually a little bit more of the exception than it is the rule, because uh, I think humanities are largely one of the great wastes of time and kind of societal poisons and cancers that are happening in our society. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to continue. So yeah, so what do you recommend like, an 18 year old dude or a girl? Um, Let's dart to me. High school. Um, yeah. Turn up the volume. Yeah. I, yeah. Can we try? Uh, I apologize. Sorry. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to try. And I will come out there and say hi to you guys in a second. So, um, yeah. And we're going to go say hi to all of our friends over there. Um, so, yeah. What, what, do I, what do I recommend? It, it all depends on what you want to do. That's the most. The, the worst thing you can do is enter into a four year, um, a four year agreement where you have to borrow a bunch of money, try to find your way. Go take a bunch of classes that have very little relevancy, and next thing you know, you end up with a college degree, and you end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Here's a fact. Half of people that graduate college end up getting a job that does not require a college degree 10 years after they graduate. That That is the best argument I have. It goes to show the diploma doesn't actually have... Yeah, I mean I mean, you're looking at engineering students, you're looking at... You know, well, engineering's different. Yeah, There's you a, know, finance students. I, I, I qualify that. Students yeah. like that. For example, I went to community college for two years, and, um, you know, a lot of other people go to community college. You get free community college for two years, then you can transfer over, uh, and then two years at a, at a college like Cal Poly or, a, you know, a university. And, you know, the top five paying, to, you know, jobs at a college are accountants, engineers, right. uh, teachers. Try to get closer to the mic so people can know, hear you. Teachers, yep. engineers, stuff like that. And it's just, you know, and then the, the, the guys, the people that are wearing the shirts are actually in college. So... I'm just curious, like, but you know, they, they know better than I do that it's a scam. Then, I mean, it's just someone like me, you know. I think it just comes down to hard work ethic, you know. No, like I, I, I don't understand. Like, not everyone's built for the trades. Not everyone's built to go into construction or you know work as a painter or whatever they're sure. doing after college. Or a mechanic. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I just, you know, a large majority of people going into college out of high school. I think it's a good choice for, for kids because they have four years to develop as a human being versus just jumping into the workforce well, that, that, that's and, a making, good and, making, and making, what, 30, 40 grand, and you can't live off that right now. I mean, are those folks over there developing as human beings? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about them. But hold on. I'm talking about, you know. That's what college produces, though. Angry, bitter, resentful activists that hate the country. Yeah. That's not developing. That's hardening and honestly creating, you know, a mobilization army for the radical left and that's what we've seen you got your your major courses where you're taking you know i'm a real estate finance major so i'm taking classes for real estate finance i have internships in real estate finance it's great I'm, I'm not going into that field after college but i'm saying you take classes at college to get a job after college and there's a, a most of the universities you get up am i tripping did he just prove the whole argument by saying i'm in realty finance i take those classes I'm doing an internship even though I'm not going into that after college. Isn't that the argument that Charlie Kirk is making? You just went to school for all of that. You're in, I mean, I don't know if you're there on a scholarship, but let's say you're not. 
right? Let's say you're not there on a scholarship. You're paying for school. You had to get loans. And now you're not even going to use the degree that you get, okay? Not saying that you won't get a job and be able to pay the loans off down the road. Not saying that. But the argument is that you go to school for these things. And then when you get out of college, you don't even go, you don't even use the degree to get into the field that you just went to school for. Uh, or you find a different field to go into, which doesn't even require a degree. So now you're in 200K debt with a four-year university and you didn't even go to the classes you went to. So I'm saying, so I, I, let me go back though. I couldn't be charged for for the radical left, and that's what we've seen. You got your your major courses where you're taking. You know, I'm a real estate finance major, so I'm taking classes for real estate finance. I have internships in real estate finance. It's great. I'm, I'm not going into that field after college, but I'm saying you take classes at college to get a job after college, and there's a, a most of the universities you get over 75 grand a year out of college. And if you do the route of two years of community college and transfer into it into a university, yep. you're able to pay off that debt, which is around 20K, 30K, for a school like this, you go to state school, and then you're off to the races. It's so graduate, I just, 41% don't, so, because they shouldn't have gone in the first place. I mean, then, then what do they do? Uh, what do you do? They after? never should have gone. I mean, yeah, we have 11 million open trade jobs in this country. Yeah, so, here, here's, the, here's the thing, people do not want to work with their hands, and parents don't want to send their kids to go work with their hands because it's considered to be dirty type labor. Well, 11 million job openings in this country that require just a six month certification, uh, whether it be auto mechanic, right, HVAC, plumber, so on and so forth. Yeah, right. And it's not for everybody, but- so, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's just yeah. like, large majority of people in, in America right now don't, are just lazy. They're not gonna be doing that after, well, after we, high school. Well, we agree. So does college make you lazy or work, make you work harder? Makes you work harder. I mean, I worked throughout college. I worked. You are the exception then, I mean, um, <laughs> because employers are disagreeing. They say we've never seen such lazy, entitled, narcissistic college graduates. In fact, most employers say if you have a college degree, you're put in a different category. They prefer people out of high school, unless you want to go work for Bank of America in a soulless. I can see that because people with a degree now just based off the fact that they have a degree, they think they're entitled to more, a higher pay or. A or a higher job position in the job that they're in. See what I'm saying? So I can see that as an employer. This laptop job for the rest of your life and yeah. you know, go learn about- I'm gonna take bro that's been working with his hands through high school and all that, went to a, uh, what's that school we got here? Francis Total, where you can do mechanical stuff and all types of things with your hands for six months. I'm taking him, cause what I'm reading is hard work. When I read that you have a degree, I see that you got the degree, right? But what has the degree proved that you can work? Everybody's gone to class, you know what I'm saying? You can drink all night the day, the day before and come to class hungover. That does not tell me that you are willing to work and put in hours. This kid has put in hours, put in work. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but it makes sense to me in my head, it does. Men can become pregnant at some HR you know, department survey. No, or, you, or you use your analytical skills that you use in school to get a job. That or you, figures. you don't, you can develop analytical skills outside of college. Exactly. I think, I think you're just, I'm living through that. I think you're just, I, yeah, I mean, I almost dropped out too. And, 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 but, and I'm not saying it wasn't, it wasn't the right choice for you, but more times than not, kids are deceived and lied and they have tons of animosity because this school is unique. If you go to UCLA or if you go to UC Berkeley, you're not left with thirty thousand dollars in debt. No, you're no. left with one hundred thirty thousand yeah, dollars in debt, facts. right? Not to do the two year so, college. The, again, degree. I I preface this school is a little different, but facts, facts. College isn't for everybody. Now, if you want to be a doctor or something like that, by all means, you gotta go to school, right? But even doctors are in big, big, big debt just because they have. Listen. I was just speaking to somebody. My homie Brock from uh, Cartier family, right? His daddy is in the pharmaceutical field, right? When I was at their house the other day, he was telling me that he knows people that are doctors, big house, nice car, but are in almost a million dollars of debt. So even though they're driving a nice car, when they get off work and they go home to a big house, these folks are not happy. They are in debt more than anybody. You went to school for eight years big schools and they make good money but when you're in debt close to a million dollars come on now let's be for real what how much of that are you really seeing you're not you're not going to be as happy that's just that's it makes sense to me 
But if you do want to have that kind of job, then yeah, you have to go to school. Like, I understand that. But a lot of people go to school and then don't even use a degree or they go to school and they drop out. Now they're in debt. See what I'm saying? This dude, by all means, he he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? You got your head on right. I understood what you were saying, going to the community college two years and then going over there. I understand all of that. But not everybody's thinking like you. And I've seen a couple people shaking their head, yeah, him, this dude right here. But in reality, how much debt are they in? In reality, are you going to use your degree? He actually is in a great position, taking classes for that match up with his degree. And he has an internship. When you got an internship, that, that right there is good to me because you possibly can fall into it into that as a job, that place, or they can help you go somewhere else. But he even said he wasn't gonna go into that field even though that's what he's studying. Unless I heard that wrong, but I feel like that's what I heard. So in my opinion, that's how I feel.